am Jim St. Ledger from the Intel Corporation, and we're here in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress 2014. One of the themes we've seen at the show this year has been network functions virtualization. As we walked the show floor, we saw many of the exhibitors having demonstration and displays about them. Right now, I've stopped in the booth of SK Telecom, and I'm with Minsu, who's going to talk to us about some of the NFV work they're doing. Minsu is the manager of the Network Technology R&D Center at SK Telecom. Minsu, thank you. Uh, hi, Jim. It's great to see you. Uh, so I walked by, what caught my attention was your sign calling out Virtualized Radio Access Network. Can you talk to me a little bit about what SK Telecom is doing around VRAN? Okay, so uh, first of all, this is SK Telecom's booth. In here, this is the our so, so, uh, five showcase. So right. among that, I think the most important thing is virtualized RAN technology. Okay. Yeah, so virtualized RAN technology is part of NFB, especially focusing on the base station. So in, in our booth, we are demonstrating world first uh, virtualized base station in here. So the core technology is we are using so that not the dedicated hardware, but the general purpose hardware like Intel Geon CPU and so on. So by that hardware, we apply the certain so hypervisor like modified KBM with Wind River, and we implement our LT base station in software manner. Okay. Interesting. Okay, that's terrific. Now, um, how can this technology help deployments out there? So we're transitioning, we transition from 3G to 4G LTE, then we're looking at LTE and LTEA. Talk a little bit about what this solution can do for those node transitions or technologies. So the two key words in our so brand is flexibility and intelligence. So, so by realizing virtualized RAM, we can implement any functionality, including connectivity engine like LT, LT Advanced, and uh, next generation network. Okay. Moreover, we can add the intelligence engine like so edge caching server or other service-oriented solution very easily because this is very generalized, very often. Okay, so that's the flexibility you were yes, talking about yes, earlier. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, very, very good. And it also sounds like it's got a high element of scalability as yes, well, Yes, yes, right? yes, right. Okay, very interesting. Let me ask you one last question. So, a year ago, it was when Network Functions Virtualization was first exposed at this show. Mm -hmm. Here we are a year later. Mm -hmm. Some people are still trying to decide, mm -hmm. well, is it hype or not? What is your view of NFB? Oh, so in telecommunication in area, so it's a big huge trend for the so, migrating uh, from so, legacy telecom technology to so, new IT technology. Okay. So we say so from all IP to all IT. All IP to all IT. That's yes, a terrific so, phrase. Yes, yes. So, so, so key technology in all IT is NFB itself. So among NFB, so the most important part is so base station virtualization. Right. This is a key factor because so base station so uh, is the so base station is to investigate huge cost in network operator. Right. So this is the key part. That's terrific. Mm. Minsu, mm. thank you very much. I uh, appreciate you. your time. Mm. From Mobile World Congress, I'm Jim St. Ledger. If you want to find more information, visit sktelecom.com. Thank you.